y'all. Welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today I'm going to cook a little bit of surf and turf with my Matador Prime tri-tip that I got sent and some pretty big jumbo shrimp. And we're going to sous vide both of these and then we're going to cook them on the grill. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. I'll be right back. Okay guys, like I said, what we're going to do is going to make a little surf and turf tonight. And I'm using this tri-tip that I got from Matador Prime Steaks. And you can see a link to their website down below and a coupon code of FIREWATER10. On your first order, you get 10% off. I got this beautiful tri-tip that they sent me. They sent me a picanha and a tri-tip to do some videos with. And tonight we're going to cook the tri-tip. See how this turns out. I'm in Florida, so it's really hard for me to find tri-tip. Um, so that's one of the things, and I contacted Matt at uh, Matador Prime Steaks, and he was willing to send me one to try out, and he was also willing to give a discount code to my viewers and uh, followers on Facebook. So I appreciate that, Matt. Here's at you. And I'm going to go ahead and cook this tri-tip. I've seen plenty of videos on how to cook these. I've just never been able to because in Florida, it's very hard to find this particular cut. So... I've got it all seasoned up with my beef rub, salt, pepper, and garlic. Um, and if you look up in the card above, you, I just did a seasonings uh, and rubs video where I show you how you can make some of your own rubs. This is my own beef rub, salt, pepper, and garlic that I put together. And then we're going to do some of these jumbo shrimp. We're going to cook them both sous vide, but first I'm going to get my, my steak going, my tri-tip. This is going to take about four and a half hours to cook. I'm going to cook it medium rare at 132. I wanted to get it a little bit tender, so I want to be at four and a half hours. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bagged up, and we're going to toss it in the sous vide bath. And then I'll show you how we get, what we're going to do with the shim. tip in the sous vide bath at 132 and I'm going to run it about three and a half to four hours. It doesn't have to cook a whole lot but I want it to tenderize a little bit before we throw it on the grill and what I did is I took my jumbo shrimp and I, I peeled them most of the way. I kept the tails on but I got rid of the legs and the skin and what I'm going to do with them I'm going to toss them in a vacuum bag and I'm going to put in about a quarter cup of butter here and just cut it up into little pieces. And then I'm going to season it with the Running Wild Seafood Rub. I just got this. I never tried this one before. The seafood seasoning from Running Wild. And I'm going to actually cook the shrimp sous vide in this. But I'm not going to cook the shrimp until the tri-tip is almost done. Um, probably about 15, 20 minutes before the tri-tip is done. I'm going to throw this bag of shrimp right in the same water as the tri-tip because 132 is perfect for 15 or 20 minutes on this shrimp. But right now, I got it all, like I said, I got it all peeled up. And I'm just going to go ahead and toss it in my vacuum bag. And I am going to, um, I'm going to kind of spread the shrimp out. I want it to cook even, so I got it flattened out. Let me move my butter. So I want it flattened out a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely flat, but I want it flattened out enough. And then I'm going to toss my butter in. Just kind of put uh, some there in the back. And this butter is going to you know, semi-poach it. I might actually add another little piece there. I think I want another little piece of butter. Never have too much butter, right? Just one more piece right there and kind of spread it out. Kind of make it look a little more even. So, there we go. And then I'm going to take some of this seafood seasoning and I'm just going to dump it in the bag. And this butter is going to make sure that this gets moved around. And we're going to season this up again when it comes out of the sous vide so that's really all I want to do and what I'm going to do now is take this and seal it up and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator until it's ready to go in the sous vide. Out. 
you see how they look they're right at all peak there and I got the tri-tip out and I'm gonna go ahead and take them both out of the bags and we're gonna get right, just like outside. I would with any kind of steak I'm gonna go ahead and pat this dry <laughs> Get all the moisture off of this. Get all that moisture off. Then I'm going to hit it with just a little bit more of the beef rub. <laughs> and replace any that's washed off in the bath. That's it for the Well, due to technical issues, I lost some of the footage of me uh, taking the taste test and all that on this. I just want to say the tri-tip came out perfect. I want to thank Matador Prime Steak for sending me that. Check them out in the description below. Use the code FIREWATER10 for 10% off your first order. The shrimp are perfect thanks to Running Wild Seafood Seasoning. You can check that out in the description below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Make sure you like this video and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.